Salvete omnes, this is I'm Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek. And welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Bros. 3. In the last episode, we covered four more levels. 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, and 3, 7. And some bonus stuff. No special levels this time, just regular numbered ones, and we actually had a relatively easy time of it last time. Which is probably the only break we're really going to get in this world, because I can tell you right now this episode won't be that easy. I also just noticed that island over there is actually shaped like a mushroom. Huh. Anyway, we start off today's episode with the second fortress. And with all this water around, you can probably guess what this one's like. It's the game's only completely underwater fortress. Standard fortress enemies, but fish as well. So a fire flower is actually helpful here. Honestly, yes, the frog suit's helpful in Super Mario or in World 3, I mean. But the fire flower is even more helpful because the frog suit still doesn't give you an attack, but with the fire flower, you can just murderalize pretty much everything. Also, here's a new enemy, Stretch. It's a ghost that always comes attached to these white platforms. We'll see more of them later. These are fairly easy to avoid here, though, except maybe these two. I have to carefully swim in between them. Put down this pipe, and... Boss time! And can I actually shoot this guy with fireballs? I can! It only took, like, five of them to kill him! Wow, Boom Boom, you are officially as tough as a charging chuck, or less. You seriously need to learn how to mini-boss. But yeah, now that pipe is clear, so if we were to save our game and quit here, we could continue from where we left off. Time for another of these roulette things that I'm not going to win. Oh, really? I hit the flower. Mushroom with a mustache. Oh boy, this one. Time for 3-8, and time for the return of Boss Bass. This is the only other level he shows up in, fortunately, but... Mm, two levels for this guy is two more levels than I, would, than I would like him to be in, so... There are fewer enemies in this one than there were in 3-3, but... Unfortunately, the foreground actually moves up and down even more than it did before. And you know what? I'm gonna shoot him. Here, come here, let me shoot you. Come and get some of my fireballs. Not that it's gonna affect much, because he has a pretty short respawn timer. See, look at that! Oh, well, now you get to see what happens when Boss Bass chomps you. Sigh. I hate this level. Let me not make it any sort of secret that I absolutely hate this level. Because I hate Boss Bass. Yeah, you definitely want to make use of the vines here, because otherwise you're going to have a hard time. Whoa. Okay, finally, a piece of foreground that's actually at a decent height. And it still dips only two tiles above the water. I believe this is a coin block, yes. Oh yeah, and just to add extra insult to injury in this stage, this is the one where the blue mushroom house is unlocked. Yeah, jerk move, Nintendo. This one can suck all of the nasty things. Whoa, no. Frick! If there ever was a level in the game, or ever were, a level in the game that I would be tempted to use my cloud power-ups on, this would be it, right here. Just saying. Also, seriously, what is it with Mario's vine-grabbing physics in this game? It is way too easy for him to slip off. 
Which in this level is possibly fatal. But yeah, so being the Blue Mushroom House level, we have to get as many coins as we possibly can, which is bad enough now, and it's gonna be. it's really gonna be a pain later on, as we'll find out. Whoa! Okay, it got the fish too, alright. Mario, grab the vine. Thank you. Okay, if any of those blocks have anything in them, I don't know. Oh, crap. Oh, I'm in the water. I think this one actually is a vine. So I should have hit that first. Yeah, not taking any chances here. Not taking any freaking chances. Safety first, kids. Otherwise, you too might get swallowed by a fish! Okay, now here's where the Blue Mushroom House requirement becomes really annoying. Really extra, very extra annoying. If you want the Mushroom House, you have to take that lower path, and you have to be pretty good with your timing. Because, naturally, it is a lower path. And lower is closer to... Gaping Fish Maw. Okay, let's see... Whoa! How did that not get me? I'll take it. Oh, I was so close! I hate Boss Bass so much! You know what? Actually, I'm going to do a refreshing pause. Okay, let's do this one right this time. Hello, Boss Bass. The platforms in this one just sink so dull darn far. I mean, you wouldn't think this would be that much more difficult than 3-3, but that one little change just seems to make a world of difference. And 3-3 was annoying enough as it is. Okay. Come on, grab the thing. I said grab the thing. I don't think the fish can swallow me here. Okay, yeah. I'm also not entirely sure how far up his hitbox extends. I think at least the, for the custom sprite version, if you get touched by the top half of Boss Bass, he actually doesn't eat you. I'm not sure if that applies to the original game as well, though, so I'd rather not push it. Okay, nothing up here. Well, except those blocks, of course. Now, I really don't want to wait until uh, that platform has gone all the way, yikes, up. Uh, okay, maybe the top half of Boss Bass can be passed through. Come on. Yes, okay. And that is actually not a coin, but a one-up block. Phew! Yes, end pipe! Thank you! I'm only going to get one extra life out of this, but uh, I made it. That stage is done. Please tell me this recording turns out. Yes, and we did get the blue mushroom house for that. Great. Screw you, Boss Bass. Screw you, seven ways to Sunday, you butt-sucking turd muffin. Uh, hello, you found my shop of strange and wonderful things. And we get a P-Wing for our trouble. Yeah, have I mentioned I don't like Boss Bass? Fortunately, that is the last time we have to deal with him. The jerk only shows up in 3-3 and 3-8. So, now on to 3-9. Honestly, I think the next nightmare stage for me might not even be until about world 7 or 8. And the Goomba got stuck in the wall there. Well, Paragoomba. And you know what? Let's take away his ability to... Or not. You troll. Take that and that. Yeah, and that was the block that had my power up in it. Now, you actually can duck down on this white block as well. But I don't think it actually does anything for you. And as far as I know, bob bombs you can't use them to blow up walls in this game. Nor can you actually kick them like shells, so... 
to get under there, you presumably have to have a suit with a tail. Get rid of those guys. But hey, at least I get a second tier power-up of some kind. Hey, I'll take any breathers I can get after that last level. Ugh. And honestly, I rather like 392. It's not really as unique as 37, still being a pretty standard grassland level, but it does have an interesting gimmick to it that doesn't show up in any other stage, which we're about to see right here, actually. Go down this pipe and cut offness, or cut off whatever. But yes, this stage is half above water and half underwater, and fire flower is going to be really useful here. Let's see, does this pipe go anywhere? Oh yeah, and this is one of the stages where you kind of want to watch your timer, because swimming around in here can take up more time than you would expect. Okay, well I guess here's another way of getting up here. Not that it actually really gets you anything, all well, five coins, but... Swim over here, and... Whoa. this pipe. And... I think I just screwed up. Yeah, I was supposed to hold right there, but fortunately it's easy enough to go back. Like I said, though, I'm kind of running out of time, so... Does every level in Super Mario Bros. 3 have a 300 second time limit? I wouldn't be surprised since the levels are so short, but... Okay, now I want to hold right here. And first giant question mark block of the game, and now we actually get to see what the frog suit does. Pretty much it just allows you to swim better in water. More precisely, you don't have to worry about gravity much. Mind you, this is more for show than anything, because honestly I would have rather had the fire flower. Frog suit doesn't have an actual attack, so... But hey, at least you get to see what it does without me using up one of my overworld power-ups. I think there was actually another pipe in here that you could go in, but... Oh, shoot, I forgot to take a hit. Because now I'm not going to get a star. Oh, well, I guess I dumb-lucked myself into it again! And Mario's just kind of spazzing out a little bit at the end there. Oh, hey, end spade. That's the third one of them we've got in this world. Oh, well, I guess it does have quite a few levels. And I should have looked at the footage beforehand, because I forgot where the items I turned up last time were. Okay, well, I know that's a star, and I know that's a star. Watch me utterly, utterly botch this. Okay, well, that wasn't bad, I guess. Uh, was this a 10? I think this is a 20. Maybe this one? Um, okay, which ones haven't I turned up yet? I don't think there are any that have the stars in this pattern. Here, maybe? Well, hey. I don't think any of them have two mushrooms together, either. Uh, this one? Ah. Still, though, that wasn't bad, considering I didn't really remember any of them. Told you George had secret weapon. Dumb luck. The problem with the frog suit is it's pretty well useless on land. You can't really run or jump very well with it. Yes, I know, it's a frog, but you can't really... Just because you can jump high doesn't mean you can jump any higher than normal, and you can't jump very precisely. Also, it's time for the castle, but first... Notice anything about these islands here? They're actually shaped like the four islands of Japan. Something that I never knew until I found out later on the internet, of course, but... Oh, it's terrible! The king has been transformed into a purple 24 by 24 dino rhino. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. Nice there, Mario! Nice job walking! <laughs> you look like you're having a seizure there, Buster. Yeah, the frog suit can lead to some amusing things. And honestly, I'm probably just gonna... I don't really care if I take a hit here, because, like I said, this thing kind of sucks for doing anything on land. Oh, yeah, there we go. And here's my actually useful power-up. 
Oh hey, I got a raccoon suit. And shortcut. I don't really remember too much about the World 3 airship. I think the two airships in the game I remember the least about are the world ones for Worlds 3 and 6. Also, here are a couple of new things. These bullet bill cannon looking things that actually shoot flamethrowers instead. And those nuts that you can jump on and have them spin along their bolt there. Both of those will show up in future airships. But that was pretty short, and time for an actually unique boss battle. Hello, Wendy. Uh, I jumped right into that one. Ow. Okay, good, I didn't die. Yeah, she basically shoots hula hoops. At least that's what I call them. Maybe they're supposed to be rings of candy, I don't know. But yeah, Wendy's boss arena is completely flat, and she behaves a little bit differently than Larry and Morton did. And, as we'll find out, she behaves a bit differently from most of the other Kooplings as well. But our king's back, and he actually kind of looks like Mario. But he's back to his old self again, so that's the important part. Thank you so much, here's a letter from the princess. Okay, now, this one confuses me. Greetings, the white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. Um, what white block? Is she talking about the fact that you can duck through the white blocks in some levels? Like those white... You know, like the ones in 3.9 and 1.3? Is she talking about the fact that some note blocks have power-ups and they're also white? Or maybe she's talking about that music box power-up? Because that's white. I don't know, but... Uh, we beat World 3, and for that we get the absolute most useless prize in the entire game you'll ever get for clearing a world. We got a music box. Yeah. Not gonna need to use that for anything ever. But since my, in my inventory is actually completely maxed out right now at 28 items, I might use the music boxes anyway just to get him out of my inventory. The important part is we're now on to World 4. So... I will see you in the next episode.